In the last few weeks, Verizon's 5G coverage has somehow magically increased by about 6,000%, and that's not exaggerating. Today, I'm telling you where you can get 5G with Verizon. In October, they announced their 5G is now nationwide, but where exactly is it? Not every city is created 5G equal, but for some of you, your Verizon mobile experience is about to get a lot faster. If you haven't yet, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, all the little things all of us YouTubers ask you to do. A little bit goes a long way. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and Friday and I go live every Monday. Now, every few months we get updated coverage information on all the carriers and I release new videos accordingly, but I couldn't wait to get our hands on Verizon's new 5G coverage numbers, especially after the Apple event that was basically one long Verizon 5G commercial. If you watched the event, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But here's the tea. See, I thought there was something off with how they were saying it was nationwide, but not really. Here's what happened. Verizon's coverage increased by over 6,000%. They went from 0.004% coverage in the US to, drum roll please, a whopping 10% coverage in the United States. Or if you wanna look at it another way, they went from 53 square miles of coverage to almost 400,000 square miles of 5G coverage. In the beginning, Verizon was focusing on their ultra wideband 5G coverage, which is super fast, but doesn't travel very far. That's why they only had 0.0014% coverage. They were falling behind in the race for 5G. So what they did was start using a type of technology called dynamic spectrum sharing or DSS to send out a low band 5G signal in concert with their 4G signal. Now I'm not going to go too in depth here about DSS because I have a whole video here. But what you do need to know is that this low band 5G signal is slower than their high band and isn't what you'd normally expect from 5G speeds. Now, with this being said, it's still faster than 4G and more widely available. So if you have it in your area, why not use it, right? So where is it? Well, there is coverage in almost every state besides New Hampshire, Vermont, Alaska, and Maine. So if you're one of those four states and a Verizon customer, I'd hold off on buying a new phone if you just want the new phone for its 5G features. Now we're getting to the good stuff here. The states with the most Verizon 5G, the states which give Verizon customers the most opportunity to use 5G are Delaware with 82% coverage, New Jersey with 59% coverage, Ohio with 48% coverage, North Carolina with 40% coverage, in Maryland with 39% coverage. As you can see, there is no state that is 100% covered with Verizon 5G, but there are 10 cities that come pretty darn close to 100% coverage. They're at least all over 95% coverage. They are Cincinnati, Columbus, Minneapolis, St. Louis, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Indianapolis, Baltimore, and Cleveland and Houston. There we go, my teleprompter has caught up to my fast talking. <laughs> in total, Verizon has a full 5G coverage in 6.7 thousand zip codes with partial coverage in 20,000 zip codes across the United States. We'll likely see Verizon's coverage grow a lot in the next few months because of their use of DSS, dynamic spectrum sharing, but they still have a ways to go before they can really compete with the coverage of T-Mobile, which stands at nearly 40% 5G coverage. Verizon is catching up to AT&T, who is currently ahead of them, AT&T has 16% 5G nationwide coverage. Now to access Verizon's 5G coverage, you'll need to have a first 5G capable cell phone plan with number two, a 5G capable phone, both of which are fairly pricey unless you opt for the new iPhone 12 mini, which is one of the cheapest cell phones that is 5G capable, along with the Google Pixel 4a with 5G. Those are the two most cheap phones that you can get and break into 5G. Now Verizon's plans that offer 5G are Start Unlimited, Play More Unlimited, Do More Unlimited, and Get More Unlimited. Plus, if you have the Just Kids plan, that also comes with 5G access if your child has a 5G capable phone. That's all I have for you today for Verizon 5G coverage. If you have any 5G coverage information on Verizon, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, tell me, 
Have you used 5G yet? Is it all that it's cracked up to be? I have yet to find any near me, but I will be going on an adventure soon to find some 5G. If you wanna stay tuned and learn more about that, feel free to subscribe. I'm Sherry Riggs, thanks for watching Whistle Out TV.